Okay, how do you get Fitech to run on E85? Come on, work, 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 work. There we go. And you go to initial setup. And you used to be able to push down on that. Well, I'll put it on the seat. Okay. And then hit enter. Engine setup. Enter. Okay, now if you look at the CID, that's how big the engine is, or how big you tell it the engine is. This one is 465 cubic inches. So this being a speed density without a mass airflow sensor, you have to tell it how big the engine is so it can judge how much fuel to add for how much air it's going to be ingesting. Kind of an interesting sort of thing. So you see I have it 580 cubic inches. That's a little bit bigger than a 463. And it just so happens that that puts it right in the 8 to 1, to, or 8 and a half to 9 to 1 air fuel ratio that I want to run on E85 with this engine. That's how easy it is to set this up. Now, it's going to tell you whatever the engine is running at according to that number, the 580. So when you start it up, sure starts nice, huh? Come on, keep running. All right, let's go back. Back. See, it says 14.1, 14.3. It's actually running about 9 to 1 air fuel because it's running on ethanol. So it'll see 14 to 1 and tell you it's 14 or 13 to 1. Whatever you have the target set at, it'll try to hit. But it's not really reading the actual AFR. It has to read within the parameters, the range of the O2 sensor. So it's going to read 13 or 14 or whatever you set it on, no matter how big you make that uh, cubic inch. So you're going to move it all the way around. So what I did, I got another O2 sensor and stuck it in the other header but they don't like sitting all winter and they do this. This is telling me that it's rich. I know it's not rich because I ran it all last year with the same parameters and it was like 8.6 to 9.1. So it's just the O2 sensor's bad and I gotta replace it. So another 50 bucks and I should really pull them out before I park the thing for the winter. Just, you know, I, I think it's a condensation problem. Yeah, just ignore all my wiring. I haven't really gotten to it yet. So. It's real easy to set up a Fitech to run on E85. Stupid easy. You're going to have to have another wide band to tell how big you need to tell it the engine is to get it right, but it's real simple. <laughs> 